I got forced to be like, okay, what, what really matters to me? Because I got hurt in a, in a relationship, right? And I got tossed to the side. What really matters to me was forced to come out. So in order to help make other people happy, you guys, the people who view me, the people who watch my channel, whatever, the people who support me, tell me you love me on Twitter or here and that, and I, I love this shit and I appreciate it all. But the reality is the only way I got to where I am today, oh shit, <laughs> was to get uncomfortable, okay? And I get so passionate about this because, oh shit, it's truly the only way that you're going to change your life, is to get uncomfortable, is to understand that if you want someone or something else, or if you want a relationship to be good or to be better, you have to be good, you have to be better yourself. And the only person who can do that is you. People ask me all the time, they say to me, what is the secret to success? So many young people are getting so much advice from their parents and from the teachers and from everyone. But what is most important is that you have to dig deep down, dig deep down and ask yourselves, who do you want to be? Not what, but who? And I'm talking about not what your parents and teachers want you to be, but you. I'm talking about figuring out for yourselves what makes you happy. No matter how crazy it may sound to the people. I spent a lot of time by myself so I could figure out and listen to what is inside my heart and inside my head. Something burned inside me. I wanted to be different. I was determined to be unique. I was driven to think big and to dream big. I always wanted to be very intense. I always wanted to be number one. I took it very seriously in my career. And so this intensity always paid off for me. This commitment always paid off for me. I didn't want to just be a bodybuilding champion. I wanted to be the best bodybuilder of all times. I didn't want to just be a movie star. I wanted to be a great movie star that's the highest paid movie star and have above the title building. I mean, how many times have you heard that you can't do this, you can't do that, and it has never been done before? I hear this all the time. I was told to my face, you're, you're nothing but a giant muscle. You can't act. You have no future and you have an accent that is laughable. That just shows you again so much for it can't be done. This is why I try to tell you anything and everything can be done if you can visualize it, if you believe in yourself. You're going to find the naysayers in every turn that you make. Don't listen. Just visualize your goal, know exactly where you want to go. Trust yourself. So pay no attention to the people that say it can't be done. Trust yourself no matter how, what anyone else thinks. What is the point of being on this earth if all you want to do is be liked by everyone and avoid trouble? We have so many rules in life about everything. The only way that I ever got any place was the breaking some of the rules. It is impossible to be a maverick or a true original if you're too well behaved and not want to break the rules. You have to think outside the box. Now, of course, this journey is not going to be without any setbacks and failures or disappointments. That's just the way life is. Don't be afraid to fail. You can't always win, but don't be afraid of making decisions. You can't be paralyzed by fear of failure, or you will never push yourself. You keep pushing because you believe in yourself and in your vision. And you know that it is the right thing to do. Success will come, so don't be afraid to fail. I always believe leaving no stone unturned. That's what makes you a champion. When you're out there partying, horsing around, someone out there at the same time is working hard. Someone is getting smarter and someone is winning. You never want to fail because you didn't work hard enough. But if you want to win, there's absolutely no way around hard, hard work. No pain, no gain. 
whatever path that you take in your life you must always find time to give something back something back to your community give something back to your state or to your country tear down that mirror tear down that mirror that makes you always look at yourself and you will be able to look beyond that mirror and you will see the millions of people that need your help reaching out and helping people will bring you more satisfaction than anything else you've ever done trust yourself break some rules don't be afraid to fail ignore the naysayers work like hell and give something back